What is going on everyone? Fail play here. Back for match number four of this modern leg. Uh, we won the Dara, uh, we lost the Dara, so we're going to be on the draw. Uh, we got a pretty spicy looking hand though, full of blue auras, ready to do their stuff. And opponent is either Ponza or Heliod combo, I would suppose. <clears throat> Let's go ahead. Actually, I probably should lead on Hallowed Fountain here, although if we're versing Ponza, it's probably not going to matter. Yes, uh, just getting out a blue mana source so we can go double blue aura on the next turn is going to be our strongest line. Opponent plays the Stomping Ground into Utopia Sprawl. They can Blood Moon us here. We can't do shit about it. Fun. Fun stuff. Awesome. Uh, don't get to resolve a single aura. Uh, we're just fucked. That's all there is to it. We do have a ma good matchup against Ponza, but unfortunately turn 2 Blood Moon is just a little bit too good. I can't get any auras out. I can't get a basic. I had double Windswept Teeth, so I couldn't even fetch a basic island, which I probably would have done, mind you. Um, just forest into Arbor Elf would definitely look at doing that. We might top deck a basic and get back into it that way. Opponent three mana up, one card in hand. All right, I'm going to concede it there. We didn't hit life game. We didn't hit basic, so whatever. Opponent gets the cheap game one win. We'll let them have that, sure, whatever. Suppression field is, like, surprisingly good against Ponza. Uh, these forces are kind of good, um, but also this opponent just showed Magus of the Moon. So maybe we want path more than we want force. It's probably good to have, like, some number of each because sometimes they can split both Magus and and Blood Moon down the middle, so being able to answer both would be pretty strong. Um, stubborn Denial, like, we have an argument for it, but realistically, it's, we can't Stubborn a Magus of the Moon, which we've already seen. I think if we go... One force of negation, oh, sorry, two force of negations, one force of vigor, three path. We have three answers to each combination. And then we can just trim on an effect. So I might trim on... I guess Rancor is probably our most awkward card, although we might want the green. Let's just trim on a Daybreak Coronet. It's going to be easier to get basics for Staggering Insight than what it is for Daybreak Coronet. All right, sweet. We'll keep this one. Uh, pitch a Glade Cover Scout. Done. And let's go ahead and get a Temple Garden. Turn one. Uh, I'm switching myself off of Casting Curious Obsession, but it's most likely going to be reserved for Force Negation anyway. Um, opponent with the Arbor Elf. Lame. We fucking brick on land. Great. Get ready for Magus. It's so lame, man. If we hit a, a man, if we hit a land drop there and get a four power creature with like Curious Obsession instead, uh, it's just so much better for us. Please be Blood Moon or Pillage. Fuck off, Magus of the Moon. Like you, s such an infuriating fucking card. I can't force you. I can't force of vigor you. I can't do shit. <sighs> this is like so stupidly frustrating, man. Well, I am countering that. We can still draw basic and like get a clock happening. All right. Well, that's a. F Pretty fucking good draw. Let's go. And like, also, our hand was way better against like the Utopia Sprawl start than the Arbor Elf start. 
we could have delayed them an entire turn if they were Utopia's full start. So like the half of their mana acceleration that they had was absolutely perfect. And and the card to shut off our mana was perfect as well. Second Cindervine's brilliant. And a Clothus. Great. Uh, now we're looking for Arcane Flight to attack in the air. We take a lot of damage next turn. If we... And we lose an aura. So one's just lost. All right, we're just getting attacked for four. If we draw like Force of Vigor, we have like the slimmest of slim chances. There we go. There's the Blood Moon. Knew we freaking had it. Knew we fucking well had it. Oh, well. that one's over. Um, opponent high rolled pretty hard, to be honest, into our deck. We're also running the three color version, which is the most um, vulnerable against Blood Moon as far as green, white, and blue, white are concerned. Um... But yeah, he, he, even given that, he did high roll. Um, so that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you think down below. If you're new, subscribe for Daily Bogle content. And other than that, have a great day. See you next time.